All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick video here showing you how to make like a, a vaporwave type of feel for um, a song. So I got one here. Uh, this is just a quick way to do it from audio only. Um, there's no real way to make it specifically sound like that. So um, I'll go here and show you four um, songs that I have. And uh, I'll show you one from um, Starship or whatever. So I have this here. Um, I'll pull over here. No, oh, this is obviously for logic. So, so once this gets loaded up, um, what you want to do is then you're going to want to uh, add two um, audio effects to it here in a second. So we'll once this is unloading. Alright, so two audio effects, and then also you're going to want to go to flex time, or what the fuck is this called? Yeah, um, so you're going to choose that, wait for this thing to done analyze it. Just give it its time. All right, good, so it's analyzing it now. All right, so once it's done analyzing, um, you're going to want to go over here. And uh, I'll show you that in a second. Really? All right, good. So what I would do is I would go here. Uh, make it so you can see everything using this little slider thing here. Um, then go to speed. And this will make it slow down and down tempo and everything. So then what, you wanna, gotta, what you're going to want to do is go down here until you see the little uh, flex time thing. And not that. You don't want to see the icon to extend the meters and stuff. You just want to get this one. So I'd pull it a bit. Um, I'd be a little too far. Let's try that. Yeah, so that sounds good. Um, so now you get the tempo fixed for it. This doesn't really matter, you don't need to use that. Um, so then for the audio effects for that song, you're going to want to go to pitch, pitch cur shifter. Um, then you're also going to want, at least this is what I'd use, because it seems like most um, Vaporwave songs have a little bit of reverb to them. So what I'll do now is I'll go to here, the pitch shifter. Um, you don't really need to use anything down here. Um, I played around with it, couldn't find any difference except for this, which is really weird. So these are the presets, the factory default, so. Didn't really change much. So I have one called Vaporwave 1, so I'm working on the second one to make it sound a little bit better. Now you'll obviously notice a big difference here with it, so I'll go replay that. So there you go, that's the down tempo part and the um, the vocals. And also the vocals tab also changes the music, so it doesn't really matter. I always use vocals. Drums kind of makes it sound weird. Speech kind of makes the same thing as vocals. Vocals to me just sounds a little bit clearer. So um, I had the mix at 100, semitones at negative 8, sense at negative 50, um, pitch shifter again down here. It doesn't really do anything besides envy or inverted, which sounds really weird. So I'll play that real quick. So I might add some cool effect to it. Um, I'll go to the next You can also change it according to how far you flexed it or whatever you want to word it. Um, to change it here so it sounds like that. Yeah. 
So I kind of adjusted it a little bit so it sounds not way too deep, but enough where it's it's been shifted down. Um, so you go there, and I'll add a little bit of reverb. The one I used was, I think, low soft. So you can kind of play around with the um, with the reverb. Um, it doesn't really matter exactly which one you use. There's a few different reverbs. Oh, be nice if that was on. Yeah, so right. Oh, never mind. Had a ways off. Um, so you get a reverb. You get a few different ones. You get space designer and stuff, which is pretty neat. I'm not actually sure since I'm using Soundflower. I don't know if it's actually changing the audio since I probably can't hear it since it's rerouting it. But um, let's try this. <laughs> So that's a few of the things I've used so far to make a vaporwave sound out of a previous audio recording and stuff. So even if you make, if you like make a song, you can probably um, bounce it out and then re put it through here, or you can just do it, you know with all the instruments here and junk and do that but it's a lot less time consuming to do it in like one track with all the audio there um so that's that that's all i've basically done so far right now um obviously more you can do i'm just getting into this now so that's what i've used so far so i hope that kind of helped a little bit i hope this video was good enough um if you have a problem, I guess leave it in the comments or something. Um, I'll try to reply to it. I don't know since YouTube's comment system is fucked up now. Um, Google Plus and I don't know. I'll get it. I can't doesn't give you any fucking clue what you're looking at. But um, anyways, there you go. And I'll just leave you with this uh, weird ass. Alright, so just a little side note here, um, if you're going to be doing a tutorial or something here, um, Logic will still put the audio through your computer speakers, or, um, or your, your computer speakers, or your headphone jack speakers, whatever you get plugged in. So, just as a heads up, what you have to do is you have to go to audio, and change your output device. So if you're going to be doing a recording video, you're going to want to change this to Soundflower or whatever you're using. Um, and then when you're done, you got to change it back. Like, I, I forgot about it, so I might as well show you guys. So, um, I go to system setting for this and system setting, which I think will change it. So, I'll try it. Oh, to apply. Yeah, so that fixed it. Um, just I might as well show you guys that. Uh, so there you go.